Alrighty, here we are again. What is today's plan? Well, I think we're going to dismantle everything again. I'm going to lift the cab off. Uh, I'll just leave it hoisted up for now. And pull the motor out. I'll start cutting this X-frame stuff out. I'm not sure if some of it I can use. Like maybe I can move this back. Eh, I don't know yet. Because some of it I'll have to tie in my uh, uh, ladder bars on that rear diff yet. Don't know where that's going. We'll figure that out when we get there. And then uh, we'll have to make some tabs for uh, uh, the spring. Let's run the spring in the back there. Uh, mind you, I think I have something I took off of a diff I might be able to modify. Anywho, no biggie. Not a problem. So this stuff is sitting here. You can see I chopped some of it away to sort of try to make stuff fit. I have a T outside. It does have like a front style hearse mount for the motor. So I'm thinking I'll kind of use that. I'm just loosely trying to figure out my steering. I do have a steering column over on the other side there. So I'll uh, maybe see if I can use that for the uh, cross steer. Uh, this setup has one of these uh, doodads on it for a push pull, but the steering is set up for cross steer. So we'll probably just run that. Uh, yeah, I guess we got enough of a game plan to go here. May as well get started. Well, we cut the inner stuff out, nothing there. I thought I'd be smart and be able to lay it in and just use it as a, a gusset, which I'm gonna do, but it all needs to be trimmed up because I didn't realize it's actually thicker than the rail. Like it, it sits over top and bottom, which I guess isn't a bad thing. Like it'd be like a, a box perimeter frame or whatever you wanna call it. But I was gonna trim it up, just do it flush. I guess you could stitch over. I don't know. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. I was just going to butt weld it up to the edge of the frame. And then you can leave all the speed holes in it. <laughs> it looked kind of cool. Uh, from there, I got to build some structure anyways for my ladder bars to sit on. I kind of want them to be like a trailing arm, but 
I don't know if that makes sense. I might have to just go outside perimeter with it, which is not ideal, but it's not going to have crazy amount of travel either. So I'm not sure. We're not sure about that one yet. For now, we're going to focus on some of the middle part here, get the motor sitting where it should be. And then we can kind of build gusset all around it, I guess. Although this whole building the box frame would be too bad. Then I just got to do, then the front part would work in. We just have to add into the middle part. Yes. Many, many options here. Um, like I got to take that steering box off yet because, well, it's probably no good. I don't know if it is or not, but I'm taking for granted it's not. It's been exposed forever. Well, it moves, but there's a lot of weird hoagie going on there. So what I have here is, I don't know, I bought a Dodge, a bunch of Dodge parts way, way back. I have this steering column. Ew. That looks pretty bottomed out. Not sure if I'll use that yet. We'll see. I don't like the fact that she's almost all the way adjusted. Not too much uh, life left in her. Well, we'll keep this one on the back burner. I think I got some more I can use. Then we can kind of mount it up and use the cross steer. Uh, when I cut the cross member out, there wasn't really much holding that axle in anymore, so I just cut that sway bar. We'll be getting rid of all that. We'll be getting rid of this cross member. We're going to make our own cross member after for the spring and stuff. But uh, that's kind of how she's going to be with the hairpins. A little high. They'll be lower, but this is about what the wheel. I'm imagining I'll have a taller wheel and I won't be so high up. Right now I'm probably like four inches, five inches, probably like four. So I guess it's kind of close. Anywho. I'm not sure what I want to do next here. Well, I'm not going to lie. The more I keep staring at this, the more I think I actually goofed. <laughs> uh, I have another X-frame outside, so I'm not too worried. It's by the other car that I thought I had a chassis, but it was just the X-frame section. My problem is it wasn't big enough up in the front. Well, it's too big. It caught, hot, caught, caught up on everything. And looking around at designs where the guys using these ladder bars and they actually make things where they tie into the X frame where these uh, these ladder bars would tie onto. So I think I was going to make one of those. But for it to work, I need the X frame back in here. <laughs> um, I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait till tomorrow. I'm going to get the other X frame. I'm actually going to, from where it originally sat, which was like over here, but it was hitting all my stuff. I'm gonna move it back to which we'll bring this back up into here and then it'll close into these particular ladder bars which will work much better onto some frame Adelio that I got. So the chunks that I have over there, I'll probably just use them to box into the frame a little bit and then I can tie into the X here to which I might make it like this one that I had done where I had got the removable top because I'll probably make it so the tail section of the transmission's in there and then I can kind of use similar to the original mount-ish for that transmission. So whatever, I kind of loosey-goosey have an idea what I want to do. Not a big problem. Kind of charged in, goofed it up a little bit, but eh, that's all good. It's all about learning. <laughs> All right, well, it kind of ties me over till uh, my next round. I guess all I can do now is I'll cut off these tabs. They don't need to be on here. And for now, just to mount my, my hairpins, I'm going to, I think I'm going to actually drill the frame and mount this. Eventually, because these are a little soft, they're not that great, I'm going to... Uh, make a plate that I'm going to weld onto the chassis just to, to beef it up where I bolt this through. And I'll probably add a gusset onto here because I'd like to have a double shear on these things. So that's just the one thing I do like to do. So anyways, let's get started. We'll get these things off and uh, drill a hole just so I can bolt this up. 
So if I roll it around, she don't uh, fall apart on me. <laughs> and then I do have another set of wheels like that in the shed, but those are much bigger than like I'd like to run. And I'm pretty sure these are 16s and I got no 16s, small 16s anyways. But uh, yeah, let's cut some stuff. Alright, I went outside. I collected my other X-frame for my boo-boo that I made. And now I'm just gonna... I already threw a strap under there, so now I'm just gonna unbolt this front funky motor mount. I'll make myself a new set of ears after, but I'm gonna steal this Hearst style, style mount. And uh, then I can put it on my motor to mount up. Okie dokie. I brought this in, cleaned all the stuff off. Uh, so I got a spare set of pedal assembly down there. Still got to clean some other junk out. I'm not sure if this tranny cross member thingamabob will work. I probably should cut it off though. And uh, now I'm just going to lift my cab. I'm going to sink this cross member back as far as I feel I need and that maybe my wishbones will work. And uh, well, I don't know. We'll see. You can see I kind of cut it off. A little more, I gave myself more meat on it than I did with my uh, my last job I just did. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, shuffle this back. My goal is if I can get my tailstock of this transmission somewhere in this range, that way the yoke can sit inside of here. I can use this as a, like a drive shaft hoop. And hopefully my ladder bars end up in here somewhere that I can make a nice simple cross member for it. All right, well, let's get started. Okay, this isn't terrible, provided this can work with the offset that that 8.8 uh, .8 is. I don't see a problem though. <clears throat> and if these things go, it'll be a relatively simple bracket that a feller's got to make now. So that's kind of nice. There we go. A little 
a little rough mock up here. You can see that'll work out pretty good. Okay, so I just have it on a block. Once I know this is actually good, I'm gonna split these so they can actually meet up to the frame. And then these can get shaved down to do something similar. I'll probably have them further back than they should be, but it'll all be based on if my cab can get over these beams and stuff, so. But first things first, I'm gonna put this motor into where I think it should be. I might lower the cab down first and then uh, get my motor in where I feel I think I need it needs to be. Hopefully it lines up somewhere in there. And if I had to, I can make that, well that brace will have to be removable, but I can still get the transmission in and out if I need to. Well, that looks like it's gonna work out pretty good. Motor's there, I don't know, I think I'd like the motor up a little higher. Uh, we got too many pulleys on there, so that's really screwing with stuff. I think if I go to a short water pump and pulley, if I have any of that stuff, would be a perfect combo. Then I should be able to still put a mechanical fan on it. Although, if I run that other motor plate, this mount, I'm, uh, there's a good chance my steering bracket's wrong. Well, we'll figure something out. I think I have some Vega boxes, so I can put one on, I can move it back. Therefore, I can run that crazy motor mount and it should be fine. The uh, cross member I did have to take some stuff out of it, so I might have to remake a hoop or do some sense. Like, I still have to figure out if I have to service this transmission, how I do it without having to pull motor and transmission. So, there might be still some more creative stuff happening there. And the cab is hitting on the, the X-frame bracket there. Because now it's higher than the, the, than the cab. But I could narrow it up and pinch it up into the rails to get it all back to original where it should be. Even though everything's been shuffled back. So it's kind of the plan. We'll have to uh, either pie cut these and then kind of split these, uh, this X-frame back. And then up in the front, we'll do the same. Pinch these out, but some of the material that I had kept, I'll be able to use to box the front part of the frame. So I think overall it's gonna work out really well. And then whatever, there's a big kerfluffle in there, but we'll figure it out. We'll make that work somehow. Whether I have to make the transmission tunnel removable and then I can just service the transmission and pull it out from inside the truck or not, we'll see. All right, well, I put this, that Hearst style mount on here. <clears throat> I'm not too happy with how far away it sits from the chassis. So I'm probably gonna build myself a new one that can stick further out, hold everything in place. And, uh, but the rest of everything else looks okay here. Um, kind of coming around thinking what I'm gonna end up doing is blowing out the center section. And then I can make my own cross member inside of there to hold the transmission and hold the X-frame together. So I think that's gonna be my go-to. And then, like I said, back here, I'll probably cut these lower and go in. I think that would drop me close enough. I don't know. 
we'll play with it and see what happens here. I do have to drop it though. Otherwise, I'm going to have this weird hump in my floor. So I guess we'll try to do these bits and tack everything together and call her a day. All right, so I've lowered this down. I think I have a game plan here. My, uh, see now that we moved them back, I think all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut them because they are welded on up here, like just the butt weld. So I'm gonna cut this weld and then uh, bring those bars back to where they're supposed to be. So it looks like you see how I cut half the loop off. I can put them as they were and uh, shorten them up, bring them back into the center here. I think that should work okay. And then, like I said, I think my plan after is going to be cutting all of these into an even uh, se center sections, to which then I can have uh, like some bolt-in sections. But then if I have to take tranny out, I can at least slide it out, drop it down. That is the plan. Kind of going something like, I don't even know, like a 34 frame rails? I don't even know if that's stock or not. I just noticed on Iron Trap when I seen his, that gave me the idea to cut out the center section. He uh, is doing a 34 and it's got like this X framing in the middle, but his was on the opposite side. So this uh, channel was on the inside and it did a nice, nice loop like that. So I don't know if that was factory or not, but I'm going to copy that loosey goosey with uh, the stock frame rails. And uh, then it gives me something to mount my suspension to and all that. So then we can make the hoop in the front. We'll do some bracing back to the frame in here or forward. I don't know which way I'll do that yet. And uh, then we can get that in the spring and yeah, da, 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 da. keep bouncing down the path here. <laughs> Follow the bouncing ball. Anyways, I'm uh, like I said, I'm going to cut these off, shorten these up, and uh, we should have our X frame back in. Anyways, the X frame to which I cut out. And you know, hindsight looking at it, I would have had to cut it out anyways. <laughs> That's me justifying my screw up. Okay, let's get cutting.
guys who would have thought uh, you could use Fitzy's cut and butt there to do uh, x-frame modifications huh <laughs> uh, it's all got to get fully welded I'm gonna make some bigger gussets up here for these parts that got cut uh, up there still needs a whole lot of work I'll have to flip the chassis over do all that as well we'll probably do the underside more so when we get this thing made up so we can figure out that at least get our ladder bars kind of mounted looks like the drive shaft should be fine and then uh yeah i'll be able to mount that i don't know it's working out pretty good pretty good i think it looks all right well i think that's where i'm gonna leave this one uh i'm just gonna finish up welding this cross member i might do the front boxing quick which is just all I'm going to do is trim these front pieces and kind of stab them into the frame to match up to my new X frame up here. But uh, yeah, as always, thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Later. <laughs>